Good morning, Oak and Plain class. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is OK and you are all getting on well with your remote learning. Now, we are going to do English this morning and we were going to be uh, beginning writing our setting descriptions, which we were planning for yesterday. But before we start, I've got a little starter for you where there are three sentences and I would like you to see if you can add a conjunction to link the two sentences together. So the first one says, Amy and Ben decided to go for a walk. It was sunny. So see if you can maybe take away this full stop in the middle here and pop a conjunction in there to link the two sentences. So just to make that one sentence. The next one says, the cake, the cake was covered in chocolate and icing. It was very sickly, okay? And then the last one is, the sun was too bright for Sandy. She put on her sunglasses. Uh, I'm just gonna tweak this one. There we go, okay. So pause the screen and have a go at that now. Okay then, so the first one here, I asked you to take away this full stop and to put a word in there. So I wonder which word you put. Amy and Ben decided to go for a walk. It was sunny. So the conjunction I was thinking of was the word because, okay. Amy and Ben decided to go for a walk because it was sunny. The next one, the cake was covered in chocolate and icing. It was sickly. Okay, so I'm going to take away my full stop, change that to lowercase i, and the one that I was thinking of was the word so. The cake was covered in chocolate and icing, so it was very sickly. So my conjunction for that one was the word so. And then lastly, the sun was too bright for Sandy. She put on her sunglasses. And again, for this one, I was thinking to use the conjunction so again. The sun was too bright for Sandy, so she put on her sunglasses. So I wonder if you got the same as me, or I wonder if you got different ones. Okay then, so. As I said, today we are going to be beginning to write our setting description, okay? And today we are only going to be writing about the bridge. So we're going to be starting off with the bridge. We are going to do a shared write in a moment, but just before we do that, um, I'm going to go through a few things with you. Now, you are going to need your word bank from yesterday, so hopefully you have got that to hand, because that will really help you to plan out your setting description today. So when we're writing our descriptive sentences today, I want you to try and use a new technique that we've not really spoken about much before. And it's called the show not tell method. Okay. Now I know everyone in year two has been working really hard on their descriptive writing in the autumn term. So this is how we can really step it up and take our writing to the next level. So as I said, the method is called show, not tell. So that means when you are writing today, I want you to show me and not tell me, and I'll speak to you a little bit more about what that means. So this is a technique that writers use to create a clear picture in the reader's mind. I know, especially as I have been reading the Roald Dahl book with you, that's created some wonderful pictures in my mind because of all of that descriptive language that Roald Dahl has used. So he definitely used this technique. And what it does, it makes the story much more interesting and it allows for the reader to really understand how a character feels or understand better how something looks. I'm gonna give you a few examples here. So the sentence, the first sentence is, Lucy was told, it was cold, okay? So that's like as if you're just telling me something. But the way you could show me that would be saying something like, Lucy started to shiver and rubbed her hands together to keep warm, okay? So you've not told me that she's cold. However, from your descriptive writing, I can infer that she was cold because she's shivering and she's rubbing her hands together to keep warm, okay? So that's one example. The next one, Sophie was angry. 
So let's see if we can not use the word angry. Sophie's face turned bright red and she started to clench her fists. OK, so I can now infer from that sentence. Her face was turning bright red. Her hands were clenched. So I can tell from that that she is starting to feel angry. So as we're doing our shared write today, we will see if we can use some of those techniques in our writing. So it's time for you to grab your word banks from yesterday. OK, hopefully you created or you came up with some really wonderful words that we could use. I am going to flip the camera over so that you can now see my paper and we are going to do a shared write together. And here we go. So as you can see, I have got my paper here and just at the top, as if I was um, in school, what I've done is I've put my learning intention and my date. So the date today is Wednesday the 13th of January 2021. My learning intention is to write a setting description. I have underlined both of those. I've then missed a line and I have written the bridge, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. This is going to be my little heading here. And then I'm going to do my writing here about the bridge. So you may be doing yours at the same time as me. That is absolutely fine. You may choose to watch my shared write and then do yours afterwards. However you would like to do it is absolutely fine. Now, this is slightly different to our normal shared writes because in class, we, uh, myself and Miss Broadbent, normally like to get all of your ideas and include them in our shared writes. So you are here in spirit with us and we will, of course, use our word banks that we created yesterday. So I'm going to make a start. So I've got the bridge. OK, so I'm going to start off by describing it. So I'm going to go for the. And then I'm going to look at my word bank, which I've got here. And I'm going to go for the rickety. Now, as I said to you, this is a word that means that it is wobbly. And I'm going to see if I can expand this sentence opening for the rickety old. So the rickety old bridge. And then I'm going to go for stands. OK, now think of a word of how it stands. Does it stand calmly? I was thinking I could put peacefully. The rickety old bridge stands peacefully. Yeah, I'm happy with that sentence. I'm going to put a full stop there now. Now I think I'm going to describe the wood on the bridge. Now, because my bridge is quite old, I imagine the wood is starting to rot and it's starting to decay and sort of wear away. So I'm going to go for, um, oh, I'm going to go for splintering. Because I imagine if you run your fingers along the bridge, you'd definitely get a splinter or two. So I'm going to go for splintering. Wooden, splintering, wooden planks, because they are planks of wood, aren't they? Splintering plank, splintering wooden planks. Hmm, let's talk about the path. Create a, let me look at my word. Oh, narrow. It's a word for my word bank. So I'm going to go for narrow path. Splintering wooden planks create a narrow path. Shall I see if I can extend that even more from one side to the other? Now I'm just going to double check what I've written so far makes sense. The bridge. The rickety old bridge stands peacefully, splintering wooden. OK, then year two. So. I'm not sure you caught all of that there. So I'm just gonna go through my final setting description with you just now, and I'll also show it to you because you may want to magpie a few of my ideas today. 
So we've got the bridge. The rickety old bridge stands peacefully. Splintering wooden planks create a narrow path from one side to the other. The wooden frame is rustic and brittle and looks as though it is many years old. So I'll just show that to you there. Because like I say, you might be able to improve on that and make that even better. Now, what I'm going to do is just as you start to create your own, I will leave this up here for you in case you wanted to look at that picture and help you. And there's also some of my um, words on there from my word bank, which I created, which you may find useful. Now, I can't wait to see your set inscriptions, so do make sure that you send those into the year two email addresses. Just a reminder, we're only doing the bridge today, and then tomorrow we will start to look at the fields and the stream as well. I hope you enjoy everyone. Thank you very much, and I will see you all soon.